Welcome to the fourth video in our Quick Start series. Now that we have visualized a basic user interface and page navigation, it's time to set up some simple data flow in our simulation. Our scenario calls for the data our reviewer enters on this page to be displayed on the new profile confirmation page. We'll use the clipboard to make this happen. First, we need to set up the Create Profile screen so it captures the data entered by the reviewer. This will require three things, a form widget, data flow to the clipboard, and a submit form action. First, the form widget. Since all of our user input widgets need to be contained within a form widget, we'll use the wrap-in command. With everything selected, right-click, wrap-in, form. Let's name our form, and then change our scroll bar settings to prevent them from appearing in the browser. To capture our data on the clipboard, we need to add a clipboard widget to the canvas by dragging it from the widget toolbar and releasing it on the right side of the page. To create the data flow, just drag the user input widget from the page to the clipboard, choose send data, and type a name for the new field. We'll do this for each of our four user inputs. With the data flow set up, we just need to add the submit form action that will send the data to the clipboard. Our goal is to submit the form with the submit button before we navigate to the confirmation page. No problem. Just right click the blue navigation line and choose insert event action. In the set page action dialog, we'll switch to the submit reset form option, accept the default selection, and just like that, we've set up our page to capture the data entered in this form and then navigate to the confirmation page. Now let's set up the new profile confirmation page to display the data captured on the Create Profile screen. First, let's add a simple instruction for our user. That should do it. Now, to display our data, we'll need to add four text widgets. The square brackets indicate that these are dynamic text placeholders that will be replaced by data when the page is simulated. To get the data from the clipboard, we just reverse the procedure that we used to put it there. First, we'll add a clipboard widget to the left side of the page. To create the data flow, this time we'll drag the clipboard to the page and release it on a text widget, selecting the appropriate data field as we do so. We'll repeat this once, twice, and three times to complete the data flow. Let's finish off the UI by adding our confirm button. That should be everything we need. Let's go back to the Create Profile screen and test our simulation to see if the data flow works. We'll enter some sample data, make a selection in the gender dropdown, and then click Submit. Outstanding! We successfully captured the data entered on the previous screen and displayed it here. Although the possibilities are endless, the simple interaction we created in this video is very typical of the things modelers do with data in iRISE. As you gain more experience, you'll most likely experiment with data sheets and record actions. Until then, however, the clipboard is a versatile tool that will help you visualize most requirements involving data. In the next video in our Quick Start series, we'll explore some capabilities in iRISE that will help increase your speed and efficiency as you start new projects. Thanks for watching.